We have been privileged to be able to use these events to thank people who make not only our work possible, but the work of many others who are fighting the sorts of fights that we've been talking about tonight. Uh, preeminent among those is a foundation that uh, may or may not be well known in New York. It should be. Um, it is a very important institution based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, the Lind and Harry Bradley Foundation. Uh, we have two of its senior personnel with us tonight, Bob Norton and Diane Saylor. Uh, Diane is going to receive the award on behalf of um, Michael Grebe, who could not be here tonight. He is the president of that foundation. I believe it's his 50th um, US Military Academy anniversary tonight, and he was otherwise engaged. But he is very well represented by his two colleagues, and I just want to say very quickly a word of special thanks, um, not just to this remarkable foundation and the work that it does in so many different ways, and not just in making grants, but in the inspiring activities that they do to help wage, quite literally, the war of ideas, um, notably through the Encounter Books program. Andy McCarthy is an author of two of them, I think, at last count, though he turns them out so fast I'm probably behind. Um, the Bradley Fellows program, thousands of whom have migrated throughout academia and in other walks of life, uh, steeped in the traditions and values that uh, the Foundation describes as involving a vigorous defense at home and abroad of American ideas and institutions. Not least, there's the Bradley Prize, a highly coveted award that has been given since 2004. And uh, it's one of those things that if you haven't been invited to attend, um, you really miss something. I don't know if you broadcast those, but you should. Every single one of them uh, involves exemplary people doing the sorts of things that we're talking about tonight. And they make generally utterly brilliant speeches in accepting the awards, all of which contributes to um, the war of ideas and its waging. Let me just say, finally, a, a, a very personal note of thanks to Diane Saylor. Diane is uh, one of the people that we get to work with at the foundation. Um, I don't, I couldn't tell because um, there's absolutely no evidence she even exists in the World Wide Web. So somebody has been cleaning up after you very nicely. But she's been there for quite some time. And in the course of it, I've come to know her as a woman who is deeply knowledgeable about the subject matter in the various areas she's responsible for. And they're not simply in the national security arena by any means. Uh, culture and the arts and the like are also parts of her portfolio. But she brings to this job of helping distribute um, the largesse of now deceased philanthropists, uh, an acumen about what will make a difference, uh, what will, especially uh, the potential to make a difference um, if enabled by the sort of support that the Bradley Foundation routinely gives. As a result, it is with particular pleasure that I thank Diane Saylor for getting the short straw of the foundation and getting to come and receive our award, uh, the Terry Elks Sacred Honor Award. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. You're most gracious. I'm very honored to accept this award on behalf of the London Harry Bradley Foundation. And from all of us at the Bradley Foundation, particular congratulations to Judge McCasey and to General Singlob. As Frank suggested when he presented this award, one important aspect of our mission at the Bradley Foundation calls for a vigorous defense of America and its interests. The simple truth is that were it not for organizations like the Center for Security Policy that are committed and dedicated and ever vigilant, we wouldn't be able to effectively carry on our work. 
So I thank Frank and his colleagues, and we wish you every continued success in going from strength to strength, and we very much appreciate this special award. Thank you.